All right, people. Yeah, I am re resorting to the floor in a bedroom. It's a mess. If you're seeing the mess around me, forgive me. I initially had a different video recorded. I was gonna talk about Luca Vildoza and this, that, and the third, but then this news came out about Colin Sexton possibly being moved to the New York Knicks. How true is that? How false is that? We don't know, but if it's coming from a source like Shams, Woj, or something like that, there seems to be some sort of legs on this story. You guys know how I feel about Colin Sexton. We'll talk about that in a second, but we're also seeing reports coming from Ian Bagley, and then now Shams, that Lonzo Ball might not be coming our way. Hurts my heart, but I gotta talk about it. I know I'm not in my office right now, but at the same time, run the intro. What's going on, CK Crew? It's your boy CK2K. I'm giving you a bit of a different video today. I'm coming off of my phone. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. Do not forget to like this video. If you haven't already, make sure you go follow me over on Twitch and make sure you join the Discord so we can continue these conversations. And I know this conversation is going to be very popular amongst a lot of you guys because I've had so many comments of you guys trying to get me to talk about this guy. And I told you, not yet. I don't want to because I, I'm just not a crazy Colin Sexton fan. I just feel like like he's one of those guys that if the shot does not go in he then becomes useless for your team and that just worries me a little bit um but at the same time if what we're seeing right now is true which we're going to talk about right now can't i'd be stupid to say that i don't think the knicks should go after him but let's talk about the report like i mentioned at the very top that the knicks have um significant interest in uh, making a move for colin sexton whenever they decide to make that move whether it's in the off season whether they make it soon whatever may happen but the knicks are the ones that have the most interest in acquiring colin sexton and to a lot of you guys that might be exciting and to be real you know even somebody like me that's not crazy about Colin Sexton. Beggars can't be choosers. Mm. The Knicks have not had an all-star esque point guard, a young point guard, a superstar level, uh, a potential superstar level point guard in damn near 10 to 15 years. I mean, yes, we've had Raymond Felton, who was a great starting point guard for us, but we knew that the shelf life with Raymond Felton was only so long because of his age and you know the situation that was with that. Um, we had Jeremy Lin, but then he decided to go after the money in that summer, so we didn't get Jeremy Lin. Um, there's a bunch of stories about that. The list goes on and on. Tony Douglas in some instances, you know, this, then the third. We haven't had an all-star point guard since Stephon Marbury. So for me as a Knicks fan to sit here and say that this is a stupid decision would be kind of crazy because like I mentioned, beggars cannot be choosers and the Knicks desperately need to fill this point guard position. What have I been saying? I would love for the Knicks to fill this position with a young point guard that can be with us long term, not just somebody that we have right now as a rental yet again. And though Colin Sexton is not my favorite option, um, if we do make the move for him, at least I know that we will have scoring at the point guard position because there are a lot of positives that come with Colin Sexton. Colin Sexton last season was a phenomenal scorer, scored above 24 plus. I, I'm going off the dome right now. I'm literally filming this. Could have been more, could have been a little bit less, but I do know Colin Sexton was scoring the ball at a high clip last year. You know, he was doing a lot of good things. His, his percentages were a lot better. There was a point in time where if the Cavaliers had a better record, he probably would would have made his first all-star game last season there's so many so many positives that come with Colin Sexton a lot of them primarily are offensively um I my favorite version of Colin Sexton was definitely his time in Alabama when he was playing uh, under coach Avery Bra uh, Avery Bradley Avery Johnson I thought we saw a, a leader in Colin Sexton especially in a lot of instances that that team had when they really didn't have much else going on for him besides him and he was still able to carry them to the tournament so there's a lot of positives that come with him but like I said it, there's just that worry of when the shot doesn't go in when he has those inconsistent spells what happens with us you know maybe you know th does he do the other things he's not tremendously known to be doing those other things he is an on and off defender maybe under coach Thibodeau his defense becomes more um consistent there's those kind of things but there's the the big negatives for me and the big red flags were just the instant reports that came out when he first was drafted and hearing the veterans and what they had to say about him and their their thoughts and feelings about him and then also just the fact that the Cavaliers are looking to shop him already. There's something there that's not adding up. I understand that there's a whole money situation. Um, they might not be able to afford him, but they have the rights to him at least for another contract, whether they don't have him long-term or not. I, something about that is not adding up. It's not like he went in there and asked for a trade. I don't know. Something about it is just not adding up to me and I'm not a fan of it, but you know, we'll see what happens. Hopefully it just, it's nothing. Maybe I'm overthinking it. I would love to be overthinking that situation. Maybe that's all it is, but there's something about there that just 
it's just a red flag for me i'm not a fan of but yeah it's looking like the knicks are in the lead to do that if there's a trade to be made it's coming out from a guy like shams where it, it most likely could be happening i'm not saying he's a nick yet i'm not going to say that if these reports are true you know it, it could happen and then that would put hogwash on my entire movement of zoda and why but it's already looking, according to uh, Ian Begley, um, that the Knicks right now are still not all on the same page when it comes to Lonzo Ball. We've heard the many reports that the Knicks are interested and the Knicks did want Lonzo Ball. I mean, it was no news that the Knicks had made phone calls to New Orleans to acquire and this and that, but they didn't really do too much after the fact when we found out that their asking price was too much. Um, now we know that uh, it, it would just strictly be up to us uh, giving up some um, cap space to get Lonzo Ball. Now that I think has been the big tug of war amongst Knicks fans. Is 20 million too much? 19 million too much? Um, to me, I think that the perfect spot would have been 18 million for Lonzo Ball for three years. I would have loved to see us go after that contract. I think that'd been a perfect price point for him. But then there's that um, possibility of the Pelicans, the Pelicans matching that offer because, like I told you guys, the Pelicans are strapped for cash. So I feel like if we made a significant offer, there's no way that the Pelicans would be able to match that. And then here we go, boom, Shams just pretty much clarified what i had said in my video that you know the pelicans don't have the money for it. and if, if a team puts up a good enough offer for lonzo ball the pelicans wouldn't match but then the kicker was that he had still left on only the bulls and the clippers no nicks to be seen on there as far as who were the teams that are going after him and there's that's a little peculiar but it makes sense if you listen to ian bailey's reports before that which i just mentioned that that not everybody um in the next front office is um on the same page as far as pursuing lonzo ball which is worrisome which is a little you know upsetting i get it you know there are the negatives like i said all these players at this age because there's just so un so much uncertainty with these players you don't know if lonzo ball is going to come out of this and turn into that you know player that i truly believe he's going to be long term or if he's just going to be a lot of the same for the rest of his career you just don't know what you're going to get from it but like i said my my thing was i with lonzo ball the one thing that you know that you're going to get instantly is you're going to get production from the rest of your players with a point guard like him he's that kind of leader whether he's a, a vocal leader or not he's a guy that makes everyone else on the team better and that's what i want from my point guard that's why i've been looking at i feel like with lonzo ball being 23 years old solid defender crazy shot maker at this point now you know i it just to me it just made the most sense but if it doesn't happen and we go with the guy Colin Sexton, i can't be upset because at least i know that my knicks are getting the point guard that's going to produce some points <laughs> it's a damn if you do damn if you don't um like i said i just have my words with Colin Sexton, man i don't know what it is my gut my gut just does not sit well with Colin Sexton, but I will take him in a heartbeat because we need huge, huge, huge upgrade at that position. So yeah, um, what you guys' thoughts on this? I'm gonna keep this video short because you know this isn't in my normal setting. Um, the only reason why I didn't go in there and set it up right now is just it just it just was so much easier to get on my phone. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below about everything. Colin Sexton, talk me into liking Colin Sexton. Chat, help me with my gut feeling. What am I missing? Especially if there's a chance that he might be our future point guard. Let me know your all your thoughts in the comments below. Um, and for the remainder, uh, Zoda and Y guys, I'm not giving up the fight. I still feel like we're still in the in the race. We have more money than Clippers and the Bulls. All it takes is the Cavaliers to ask for too much um, to, for us to then go back into pursuing Lonzo Ball. I, I don't think it's over until it's over, but hearing these reports, it does point in another in one direction. But until it's over, I'm hashtag Zoda NY till I die. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. At the end of the day, I just want the Knicks to make sure that they solidify themselves a starting young point guard for the long term. That's what I care about the most, whether it is Lonzo Ball, my favorite, or Colin Sexton, a lot of you favorite. If it means that my Knicks had their starting point guard, then I ultimately believe that we all win this battle, all right? Because at the end of the day, we can like a player, but we're all Knicks fans, and we want what's best for the Knicks team. And either way, the Knicks upgrade point guard and we win either way, right? I think we can agree with that. All right, so let me know your thoughts in the comments below about uh, the Colin Sexton news, Lonzo Ball news, and what you think happens. I will talk more about Luca Vildoza, especially after the fact that Luca is playing Team USA today. So maybe it just made sense for me to skip that video and talk about Luca tomorrow. Hopefully, he has a nice showing against uh, U.S. players playing against NBA players, technically. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. Do not forget to like this video. Shout out to all you guys supporting your boy and having videos like this. Even though I feel like the quality is probably pretty solid with this one. But um, if you haven't already, make sure you go follow your boy over on Twitch. Follow me on all my socials. We over here on TikTok. You know what it is. 
See you on Discord. I'm out of here. Let's get it. Y'all might be getting your point guard called Sexton. It might be happening, all right? Okay. I can't wait to see the comments about this one. Cannot wait. See you guys in the next one. All right, peace. Cold pizza. Tuesday. Tuesday. I got food up in the fridge. Y'all keep looking for that new way. I think I like it how it is